five mods, what they are, and why I've installed them. From some of the smallest mods that I'll be using to some of the largest, I have no clue what to call this set other than five big ass mods for Skyrim. Noble Skyrim is a complete overhaul of Skyrim's structure, and it feels right to me. Each city has a unique architecture, from homes to palaces and miscellaneous retextures, from shovels to stockades. Noble Skyrim covers a great deal of the game. Be sure to check out the link for HD Lodge textures, created with Noble Skyrim in mind, to see if it suits you. If you mod Skyrim, you know Smim. Static Mesh Improvement Mod makes a lot of flat meshes circular while providing others with simply better shapes. There are various UV mapping fixes, texture upgrades, and more that help give the world a deeper sense of realism. Immersive Citizens is a wonderful mod that needs serious consideration before using. NPCs better evaluate danger, some have lore-friendly relationships and daily tasks that relate to their professions. What needs to be thought out is compatibility with location-adjusting mods. When I begin the My Way Guide, I'm going to do my best to provide what I can for this awesome creation. Another mod known since the height of Skyrim modding. Immersive Armors provides unique protection in an attempt to diversify the game without making it look out of place. Many community armors were compiled together with this author's. As with most of today's mods, a short video does not do it justice. The last of the Big Arse mods is not actually a big mod. It does, however, provide a surprisingly big impact due to some very big fallen trees. Immersive Fallen Trees does what the title says by disrupting pristine forests with more of what you would expect in a world that is wild. A special thank you to our poet lords, Watch Hill, Trotsky, and TC Games for their charitable contributions and support. I am Michael of Gamer Poets, and I hope to see you next time.